Does it look like I'm hightailing it from my hip camp campsite in Winslow? Yes, yes I was. It was a nice camp, but the wind made it not so enjoyable. So I'm headed to cooler weather and more beautiful landscape in Snowflake, Arizona. Hang out with me so you can see what happened to make for some amazing and fun van life days and some good news. This is Snowflake, Arizona. It looks very much like Santa Fe. We're at an alpaca farm. You want to go see the alpacas, Piglet? Come on. I forgot your name. Look, it's, I think there's like 8,000. That's it? That's so not even broken. This is my wonderful harvest host at Satine Alpaca Farm. And he is such a nice guy that he offered to help me secure the damaged parts on my awning. And I found out today that, uh, called, called Pleasure Way, and uh, sent them the video of the damage and explanation of what happened and showing that the awning was disabled. And uh, Fiamma, who's the maker of the awning, is going to cover it under the warranty. So now I just gotta wait and figure out where I have to take it to get it fixed. <laughs> they don't make anything easy these days, do they? I'm just taping these off in case something happens where you do. I'm sure you're doing a much better job than I would have if I did that. You know, in case you get power back. I would have just slapped some duct tape on there. <laughs> Boy, today sure a lot different than yesterday was. Oh, it's a beautiful day today. Yeah, when I got here, it started snowing in snowflake. <laughs> And today, there's not a cloud in the sky. Well, there's one right there, but there are not very many. Hey, so this is the repair that my harvest host, Bob, made for me. And I just found out he was an electrician. And so that's why he did it properly. <laughs> I was just going to slap it down with duct tape. <laughs> now he's going to move on and fix that little arm that keeps swinging out. Oh. Instead of trying to tie it down, he just took it off. What's this guy's name? Copper. Copper. I think I've asked you that like three times. See Hi, Copper. The, can you get a picture of his eyelashes there? I'm trying to. Let me, They're let me, real long. Let me zoom way in. Yeah, they have really pretty eyes. When they fight, they go for each other's <gasps> testicles. Oh, ouch! <laughs> and what do the other ones do? Do they stand by and watch? Yeah, they watch, and if they get too close, they might get involved, but it's usually two at a time. They're kind of like dogs. Yeah, they <laughs> When I go in there, they should stop a little bit. Uh-oh, who won?
while I was in Snowflake, I took the opportunity to take a lot of photographs of Bob's property. Um, those juniper trees really inspired me, and I think I'm going to try to paint one of them. That one, especially, right there. So, hopefully I'll be dragging my art supplies out soon and attempting my first painting in almost a year. For now, I head to a Thousand Trails RV park in Sholo. Good morning. I'm coming to you from Sholo, Arizona. And as you can see, I'm not in the desert anymore. I'm near the Sitgreaves National Forest, and there are lots and lots of pine trees here. And it looks like a few aspens. I think those are aspens. They might be birch, but I think they're aspens. After several emails back and forth to Pleasure Way uh, Warranty Department, uh, which hooked me up with Fiamma the warranty department. Fiamma is the maker of the awning. Um, and after they reviewed the video that I sent them, they uh, have decided to uh, cover the repair of the awning uh, through the warranty. So they are making a new awning for me and they're going to ship it to an RV repair place in Sholo. And um, they'll send me a tracking number, and once they send the tracking number, then I'll make the uh, arrangements with the repair shop to uh, make an appointment to take it in to have it repaired. That they told me it should only take a few hours. So, so after all that, um, I got a text message from Bob at the alpaca farm. Uh, inviting me to lunch in Sholo. So, it, Sholo's not too, too far from Snowflake, so I accept this his invitation, and uh, so we I had to do laundry, and so after I did my laundry, I met up with him um, at a restaurant, um, Monica's something, I can't remember the name of it, I'll put it in the description below. Um, and the food there was very good. And uh, so I was I was talking to Bob and telling him all about my repair plan and that I was going to be in Shalo for probably another uh, 12, 11 or 12 days. Uh, he asked me how I liked it there. And I said, well, it's fine. You know, I don't really like RV parks. So he invited me to come back to the alpaca farm and hang out and, until um, my awning comes in. And uh, he would even uh, come, you know, follow me over there when I took my van in and maybe go out to lunch or something so I didn't have to sit in the lobby and wait. So I accepted his offer. And so now, guess where I am? I'm back in Snowflake. Okay. Oh fuck, I didn't have it. I didn't record any of that. <laughs> None at all? <laughs> again. <laughs> Let me see. Did you get it? Again. <laughs> Let me see. Sometimes it turns us Oh, just now. I missed that whole thing. We gotta start all over. <laughs> <laughs> Did you really? We can start. It's always something, you know. <laughs> but, oh, did it? Did it? I'm so sorry. I'm always fucking something up. <laughs> okay.
liked this video, don't forget to subscribe and hit the thumbs up button.